All right, well, it happened once again. The uh, kids killed the golf cart. Seems like every time they go out on it, they destroy it one way or another. But I guess that's part of the fun of having one, and, well, things happen. So this time, when they're riding around all of a sudden, Dad, it won't go anymore. So uh, I come over and check it out and turn it all on. And you hit it, and it just doesn't want to go. Won't fire. It's turning over. What's going on here? So it's, it's obviously got power. Everything's working. It tells you the switch is working. But uh, amidst doing that, if you hit the gas pedal, you'll see that this isn't moving. Now, there's your choke lever there, but this is your throttle cable. Now, without that moving, um, let's try this again. If I hit this, see all of a sudden it sputters around like it's going to fire here. So that's all it is. So what that's telling me is when I hit the gas pedal, nothing's happening from the cable. So the power's turning it on for the electrical side to kick the starter on. And it'll turn over and turn over and turn over. As soon as you give it a little bit of throttle, broom, the engine fires to life. So when I look back through here, I could see this throttle cable back here moving. So I could tell that that's connected. But the rest of this, see now that works there. But whatever this hooks to, that comes to the... Throttle pedal, accelerator pedal. Hmm, let's see, how do I want to wear that one? The part that that cable hooks to, it comes around here, it's broken. So, what we had to do is order a new cable. So now we gotta figure out how to get in there and put this in. So I need to be able to get up under here to the pedal and I need to route this through and get underneath the muffler. It's very tight. Let me see if I can put this back here and you can see where we have to try to work. It's this right here, the cable coming in here is what we're changing. And it's going to be down in here. Now, yeah, mind you, I'm stuck in here looking like this. So hopefully we can come in through this back panel and maybe that'll give us a little better access. Let's try it and see what we can get to. Now, I mean, the cable is cheap. I think it paid 10 bucks for it, but uh, it's much needed. And that should solve our problem here. I guess, like I said, the biggest problem is going to be figuring out how to get in there. See if I can get this out. Uh, didn't help. <laughs> oh man. Okay. Yes. It did help a little. I could see what I need to do down in there, but it doesn't mean I can get to it. Oh, this is gonna be tricky. Does that mean I'm stuck in this little hole now here underneath the seat? It almost makes sense to take the exhaust off to get to this, but uh. Let me pull it apart, see what I can think. And you gotta make sure you keep all your connections to where they are because that determines how this shifts and how this runs. Very important for your proper throttle cable length or else it'll diesel and sputter and not really run as well as it should. Granted, there's ways you could tweak it so it works better, but you know, still need to have all that hooked up. How the heck am I gonna get in there? Well, let's open this and see what we're looking at so I know exactly how this all goes together. Now, this is a uh, G16 Yamaha golf cart. Quite a few of the same. And you see we have this little pin in here, but I don't see a little cotter pin to hold that in place. We'll have to grab one of those. So this is all we're dealing with, huh? Okay. It's not too bad. It obviously comes up here. This goes in the back. Somehow I gotta figure out how all this goes in there and what it hooks to. Hmm. Alright, well, let's see what happens here. Alright, so I determined that I'm gonna have to take the exhaust off because I just can't get to anything. I was able to turn the one nut, but I can't get a hand in there to do anything. So uh let's see, let me pull this thing out of here. <clears throat> Somehow. Maybe I don't even have to take it all the way out now. I just have to move it so I can see what the heck we're working with. Now I can get to this somewhat. I guess that I was able to take this off back here. I gotta take more of it out, I guess, and now I can get to the bottom of that. So that should make it a whole lot easier. Even though you don't want to take the exhaust off, it was these two bolts and two nuts popped it right off of there. So well, hopefully this gets easier now. All right, well, I know this is the little clip I have to take out right here. So let me see if I can do that. Let's 
got to save this guy. Yeah, that's the one I need. So that'll go with this new little pin here. So we're going to make sure we keep those together. So that's one part. Now I'm going to get that pin out somehow. Let's see. It's probably really hard to see any of this. But it's super hard for my angle. I can't see what I'm doing. I'm just kind of working blind. All right, I got that pin out. Okay, that pin is hooked to a spring. To this guy, so we'll try to keep that together. Now I gotta figure out how much more of this do I have to take off? Or am I going the other way? I might have to take... Might have to come this way with everything to get that out. I can see what I'm doing. There we go. Okay, now we can get this. I don't want to lose that. Alright, so we have that, 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 and that. That's how that goes, kind of. Maybe I'll take and put this right in there so I know where it is. And that holds the position. Alright, now I can start pulling the cable out. Really want to put it back together as quick as I can. So now that we got the back part figured out, we have to get in here and be able to change the paddle down below. The cable at the bottom of the paddle. It's a little tricky to do this single handed. Let me try to pop this up. Take out this metal plate. And now you can get to what the problem is. Here's our cable. It's definitely seen better days. Alright, let me get back fighting this mat, so... Whoa! Don't want to do that either. Turn it off, will probably help. Okay. Now I can get in there with the wrench. Mm -hmm. That thing's all mangled up in there. Wow, it's taking some abuse. Imagine that poor golf cart. Heavily abused. Who the heck did those pins on those go? Oh, they're right here. Now I can get. Let's see. Down in there. <clears throat> Straighten that. Now I can pull this pin out the side. Get that out of there. That was stuck there. Now I just gotta take this part off. Get to there. That's any broken cable. Right there. Okay. So now we got the cable out of the way. We can pull it through and start wiring or running our new one. So we're all gonna <clears throat> we're gonna pull this thing all the way out through the back, through this hole. Keep that pin there together. And that's through. Okay. So there's our cable. Let's grab our new one. We'll start feeding right away back through that other hole while we remember where it is. And back through between here. Now what did I get hung up on? Make sure that's up over there. there. How's that looking underneath there? Come across over to there. As long as I can grab it and hook it up. Getting there, getting there. <clears throat> okay. Now it's just kind of the reverse. I gotta take this back nut off here. That's it. I think. Might have to bend that back. See, I had to bend this a little bit because I couldn't fit the size of the bulb in there. Now we'll just hook this back together here.
Something like that for now. Cover that cap back up so it keeps this soot out. All right. Now, make sure that'll stay right where we want it. Good now. Let's go hook up the back. One too bad so far. <clears throat> I think that was the easy part. Now this back part. What's it look like? It's just flopping around with nothing on it. And there's the rest of the something. So we need to hook this after those clips. Let's see how this all goes back together. Now if I put this back over there and I pull this exhaust this way, I can get to it. Hopefully. So now, so what I did is I went tight on both of these nuts at the moment so I could slide this spring over it. We need all the slack we can get to hook this with that underneath there. Let's try it and see if we can get it. I don't know if we're going to get it at all. Did this fit anywhere in here? It's ridiculous. <laughs> this might be impossible. Let's see. <clears throat> Have a nice new little pin here. Maybe I could start it into this. That might make it slightly possible to get that in there. This is really awkward. And my arms don't bend the way I'm supposed to bend. Probably be a whole lot easier if the seat wasn't on this thing. All right, I think I might have gotten. Nope, I missed. Come on, stretch. No, no, no. I'm gonna fight and curse this thing, that's for sure. I'm through the part, part of it. Come on, clip on the bottom. I want you to go all the way through. There we go. Alright, that's all the way in now. That's exactly how that should go, I think. Well, let's see. There's the way that pin should be. Let me get the little cotter pin while I'm in this position to get it. Oh, there it goes. I just dropped it. Okay, now that's <clears throat> one little guy to try to fit in there so whoa well you can get the angle you need get it okay so that's at least in now I just got to hook this back part hopefully pull that pull the cable oh I need the nut for it I'm gonna put the nut on the other side it definitely didn't make this easy to do this is one of the more challenging things I guess doing the clutch wasn't that easy either. Because you couldn't really get this stuff. But this is ridiculous with tension on it. There we go. Alright. Look at that, we got a gas pedal working now. So now what we gotta do is we gotta figure out where our cable needs to be to tighten up our tension get it set right. This is annoying with this stupid. I mean, it's back all the way. The key is to make sure that there's zero tension on this line here. I want to make sure that's all the way out. So if anything, it could come out a little further, I believe. Let's see if I can get that out more. And we don't want to have any tension on this at all. Because if it is, it won't work right. Now 
That's giving us full throttle. It's still not fully releasing, so somewhere there's extra tension to this. And it's pulling this back all the way. I wonder if this isn't mounting right. <clears throat> should almost have extra pressure. So I was having an issue with this returning to the throttle stop. So what I ended up doing is adding a spring right here so when you actually hit the gas pedal and you let go, it'll go all the way back. It was staying open to about there. Now that will cause this to not shut off when you're actually driving it and it's really annoying. So everything seems to be working pretty good now. You can put this uh, Muffler back on here and give it a test. So that was the hard part, getting it in and getting it in there. Need a couple zip ties, tie this thing in there and make sure I'm not gonna burn it with a new muffler or with the muffler. We should be good to go. It's actually pretty simple. All these adjustment nuts went all the way back and that gave me a little bit of slack here and everything is adjustable from the back. I think it's gonna work. Let me put this plate back in here and give it a try. All right, well, let's turn it on. Let's see what happens here. So now we'll put the choke on. Let's make sure we're kind of in reverse and um, give it a little gas. She should want to fire up here. So there's the choke. Hey, look at that, it fired. It's working, all right. Well, good, good, good. Let me go test this. All right, well, we're gonna go give this little golf cart a try and I have this little buddy hanging out here. Figured I'd leave him be. It's really kind of a cool little spider. But uh, let's see here, we're in reverse. It's going, it's going, we're driving again. So that's it. That's all she needed was to have that fixed. Now we're out of here. Not on our golf cart. Oh, sit back and relax. Watch little spider guy. Yeah, this is perfect. I think I have it set a little bit slower than it was with the governor. It's quite a good because the thing's riding a lot. I'll slow them down. This chance is worried about a fair bit. That chance is going too fast right now. So, no, it's a tip. But it's fixed and then the ground will beat on it and destroy it again. And he's going to be good. Let's see if we can get it. We completely killed our last golf cart. This little guy. Woo! Stuff out. You have a great day, and I hope I helped you fix your golf cart.